Where are the IT jobs in Japan? By Dennis Ludener. Japan is one of the most technologically advanced countries on the planet. Around the world, I believe it's the country where technology is being used every day and it plays an important role in every aspect of Japanese society. Therefore, if technology is all around us, what skills do we need to get inside this market? Or, how can we use our own skills to shine? Well, it is a very tricky question but the number one skill to develop is communication. Language abilities will not only help you to overcome the difficulties in daily life but also will give you the necessary skills to present your ideas in front of your peers and will allow you to know their reactions and procedures much better. Now, from a technological point of view, we will divide the necessary skills into the main technology trends that Japan has. It is very well known that after the March 11, 2011 earthquake and tsunami the Japanese government decided to give a major impulse to the implementation of green energy plants all around Japan. Also, creating the required legal framework needed to attract private investments in this area. In the last year several projects were made, for example the Kigoshima, Nanatsuma solar power plant. In this particular field a combination of electric engineering knowledge and IT is required. From the electric engineering side we could say automation, or the knowledge of supervisory control and data acquisition, SCADA, and programmable logic controller, PLC, based systems is required in order to get into this market. From the IT side knowledge related to IT networks architecture, distributed systems, information security, etc., is required. Software development is not a new market but due to globalization, applications have a much wider audience than before. In this regards there is a variety of knowledge required. Some programming knowledge is required to begin in this market, C, C++, Java, etc. For the specific website development market, knowledge related to HTML, CSS. JavaScript, Ruby, PHP etc. For the application market knowledge of C, Objective-C, Java, Ruby, etc. is required. In the case of software development linked to database development or content management, knowledge of MySQL, XQuery, DB2, etc. is required. One of the main industries in Japan is semiconductors. Therefore, a lot of people want to enter this field. But as company development goes, Japan is losing some of its advantage. Recently, one of the major Japanese semiconductors machine maker, Tokyo Electron TL, merged with Applied Materials, creating a terrace the biggest semiconductor machine maker in the world. Knowledge of semiconductor layer design is key to enter this market. But for the machines that make the semiconductors some software development knowledge is required, especially C, C++ programming languages. Everybody knows that Japan is the land of robots, and we do love them. The robotics industry in Japan is a pioneer in the creation of social related robots, for example Pepper, the new SoftBank robot. The main difference between USA and the Japanese market is that the former is much more interested in military applications, like the dog robot and humanoids capable to do rescue tasks in challenging environments. Meanwhile the later is much more interested in robots capable to interacting with humans and to serving them, for example Honda's Asimo, due to the difficult population problems Japan is facing. Mechatronics and circuit board design, as well as machine, electronic board prototyping is required for this field. 
related knowledge of software could be needed. For the different human interfaces, sensor-related knowledge, artificial intelligence, and computer vision is required. As you can see, it is not impossible to get into this markets, I believe the software related markets are much more appealing if you do not have a formal education. It is possible to acquire this knowledge through self-taught systems available for free in the internet, for example open courseware from MIT. Japanese companies are slowly opening their minds towards foreign workers. Having a mix of your country's culture and Japanese culture could solve many problems Japanese companies face when they go abroad. Your skills plus intercultural knowledge is a key factor to becoming an asset in a Japanese company.